Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil 2 2019. My name is Brian, your host and commentator. I'm just going to call it Resident Evil 2. And uh, here we are in the main hall of the police station, just hanging out with Martin. Right, Martin? Where you at? There we go. He's all injured. Anyway, we're going to start by heading up here. Make sure you bring that spade key with you. Actually, let's... Maybe I should have gone up the right stairs. That's fine. We're going to head in here and unlock this door really quick. And then we got one more door to unlock. And that'll get rid of that key, so we can discard that from our inventory. This is what I'm rolling with, by the way. We got that one use of the knife left for a defensive item, but, uh, yeah, here we are doing this. Resident Evil 2 Part 3. This game's so good. I don't know, I love it. Oh, shit. Oh boy. Anyway, um, so now that that's taken care of, we're going to head up to the <laughs> third floor. I didn't think she was going to be there. That zombie kind of wanders around. That's the library section. There's uh, three... Oh, you know what I should have done? Because in the art room, you can grab a shotgun, the shotgun card for the shotgun, which is in that... Uh... The, the room is connected to that hallway that we unlocked upstairs, but it's fine. I mean, we... Well, I want to shave. I want to uh, shave. I want to save my shotgun ammo, cause uh, we're basically. I don't know. Yeah, I want to use my handgun for now anyway, so that'll keep me from doing that. We can still hit up everything and save time and all that good stuff. So, anyways, heading up here to the third floor and go through here. What, what the? What was that? There's a creature. There's a little side room here you can enter. Oh wait, not yet. This is the side room. I was thinking of the wrong hallway. we got to go to the end of the hallway here and grab this file first. To any survivors, consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns ablazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around so slow as possible around him, yeah? Oh, as slow as possible, my bad. I had looked over at the recording to make sure it's recording good, so it doesn't get all fucked up like the first episode. Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That, and I've got a friend to avenge. <laughs> Just cocks his gun. So there's David's writings. That must have been one of the officers that uh, Elliot mentioned on the video camera recording, whatever. Let's get this gun powder. And we're going to get these boards. Oh, yeah. So here we are on the third floor, West Storage. Try to avoid walking underneath this corpse because it shifts and will, like, slightly fall down. And then the next time, uh, well, then later on it'll, like, fall fully and you'll have to encounter that zombie. That zombie comes to life. So here's a C4. We do not have the detonator for it, though. It looks like we got to find that. Oh, yeah. Discarding key items. You can discard... Items that have served their purpose or any other key item with the check mark by selecting the discard command. So now there's that check mark at the bottom right hand corner. We'll discard that key. Don't need that anymore. Right here we have a file. Some guy's scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off. After all I've done for them. But if that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4 all I gotta do is detonate it, and it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what it'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me? You're superior. Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. So that explains why people... It's just kind of giving reason as to why this 
is here, I guess. A little bit of backstory, you know, to it. If you're playing on an easier difficulty than hardcore, you'll have your first hip pouch just chilling right there. So that's what that's all about. All right. So let's leave. We'll enter the library now from the top floor. As you can see, there's a gap over here. Can't really get across that yet, but we'll, we'll make a bridge eventually. Um, there's nothing at the end here. I think if you're on a easier difficulty, there's some ammo at the end of the hall or end of this walkway here. We're gonna cross this. If you head to the left towards that door, you'll fall through the the wooden planks there, and you'll uh, have to deal with those zombies down there in a very oh jeez. You came out of nowhere. She like followed us up here. Son of a bitch. Damn it! There we go. Jeez. All right, let's go down. We've got a few things to snag while we're down here. We're going to head into this room really quick. Here's where the unicorn medallion is. Let's go ahead and check out that uh, the officer's notebook. we got fish, scorpion, and a water jug. All right, so fish, scorpion. Oh, there it is. Water jug. Unicorn Medallion. We're going to place that here shortly. Let's go ahead and grab the map, too. It's the map for the upper floors. So now you got the second floor and the third floor both filled in. Nice and neat and easy. Squeezy. Let's go ahead and combine these for some ammo. If you try and unlock this door, you can't. Or open it, I mean, not unlock it. You can unlock it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab this knife. All right, so we got the zombie on the stairs I need to deal with. Remember, try not to leave these guys or like lying around. All right, so let's gonna get rid of that. Let's gonna get rid of my defensive knife. Oh no, wait, that was the knife I was using to attack. Okay. Why did it use... That's... Oh, okay. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, so now I have two knives and i got to utilize them. Uh, let's see. I should use this one on this guy. Here's a book. Grab this. This is part of that um, puzzle that we saw earlier. See, this guy won't get up until you get near him. So let's go ahead and actually... Uh, we'll take care of this guy right now. Whoops. And I want to do that. Let's combine these, though, so I can free up some room. Let's equip this one. I'm going to put this fool down. It takes three hits to, like, knock them down. And there goes his leg, so that's done. Just cut away at his head for a little bit here. Save this handgun ammo. See, I knew you weren't, I knew you weren't fucking dead. These are both really low now. How many hits do I have? Jeez, dude, die. Like I said, we're going to be running around a bit down here later, so we don't want to leave any uh, zombies crawling around that will grab us and surprise us. Go ahead and pull this over. And then we'll pull this one over. This one's unnecessary to cross, but underneath it is a few handgun rounds. Or are a few handgun rounds, I guess I should have said. Here's a ladder that you can use to get back up there. Wait a minute. Oh, jeez. She's still alive. Oh, my God. I thought you were dead. Now are you dead? Okay. <laughs> All right. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to... Uh... Ah, it's not even worth it. I wanted to... I didn't want to put his legs out. Or put, put his legs like... I didn't want to shoot his leg off quite yet. I wanted him to grab me and I was going to use the knife. Fucking bullets. Sponge, dude. Come on. I have places to be, things to do. Spending all this 
ammo on these guys. All right, that's taken care of. Good. Finally. Jeez. All right. So let's place this uh, medallion. Yeah, that clears out the library. We do have that crank um, thing there that you saw. We need to get the crank for that. We won't be getting that till a bit later. What am I doing? Here we go. Nothing new to say? All right. That's cool, Marvin. I don't really care. All right. So we're going to head to the other side of the uh, place now where we opened with the spade key earlier. I guess I'll just... Nah, you know what? I'll bring it with. I'm going to get rid of it. Let's store the boards for now. Bring the book and uh, the handgun and any ammo you have. Make sure you have at least two open inventory slots because we're going to have two key items at the same time. Not including this uh, book and what comes of it. So we'll technically have three key items at the same time. Well, two, two key key. Like keys that get you to the next like open up doors and shit and then that one I just consider a key item because it's whatever but here we go we have another board the reason we put the other board away is because we're gonna get just enough boards to use in this area that we need here's a I don't know a crank hole so that way it'll free up an inventory slot once we use uh, both the boards go ahead and check this out an article the red stone the ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince. The pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry. The diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like all those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noblewoman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's been long shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles into love, oh, who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula. And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. It's supposed to be some cursed-ass jewel. The weapons locker key card. It's going to allow us to get the shotgun. Let's pick this up. Wish I would have grabbed this earlier. The fucking key card, that is. And we'll use it on this. If you remember the photo, it had a picture of this guy holding the staff and then holding the book as well. So it's like, match this picture, and we're like, all right. Like, roger that, will do. Get the scepter. Oh, I guess we have a lot of, I, I wasn't even thinking about the car, so yeah, you gotta have a lot of room free. So that gets us that. Let's head down this hallway now. There's that waiting room we came from. do 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 just gonna go down the hallway. Oh, what the fuck was that? A crashed helicopter. Ooh, he's dead. You are dead, sir. Alright, well, fucking A. Guess we'll head out the exit door here after grabbing this uh, green herb. Ooh, I fucked up. I should not have picked that up. I don't have enough room because of these knives. It's alright, though. I'm about to use the, the knives. Leon? It'll save his time. I don't really need Claire. the green herb anyway. But here's our friend Claire. Right What's up, Claire? Okay. What's up, girl? Go down there, fist bumper. Be like, boom, what good? Do a secret handshake. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah, of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No. Not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Ooh, man. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Dinner time. Dun dun dun. Claire, this is kind of a corny, flirty, me, sexual tension cutscene. Claire, you need to go now. Okay, let's get through this. Both of us. Oh, 
Okie doke. Says Leon. Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin. Marvin. Alright, I'm gonna try and open this door so that it'll appear red on the map and I will feel complete about that. And we're gonna grab the bolt cutters. I do not have room because I'm dumb. Uh, I guess I'll have to just discard this green herb. Bummer, dude. Alright. Oh no, I should have discarded one of them. Nah, I, actually I want to keep the knives so that way I can save some ammo. Because the knives deal a decent amount of damage when you use it as a defensive weapon. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in here. There's nothing you can do about boarding up that window before that zombie gets in. So just head in over here. Cut this bad boy. And then we'll run on back. Board up this window. And then we'll head into this door. And you're going to quickly go left. There's a zombie over there to the right. Quickly go left and board up this window. And that'll stop that zombie from getting in. I'll grab the, his, uh, his hanging ammo. Now, don't pick up anything in this room quite yet that's not stackable. Because look at how much room I have. I only have one. Well, I'm going to use these knives, though. So that'll be sweet. Oh, fuck. Alright, I like it. I like your attitude, zombie. He's like, I'm hungry. I'm willing to crawl over this table for it. Right, that other zombie should be busting through that door any minute. I don't know what's taking him so damn long. Oh, bullshit. That's the fakest death I've ever seen. Yeah, see? Get out of here. Alright, so he's dead. <laughs> it looks like the other zombie hasn't busted in yet through that door. So let's get this electrical part, though. This is what you need to... We're immediately going to get rid of this, but this is what you want, you know. This is what you want that extra inventory slot for. And the zombie on the ground out here. Remember, we shot him out earlier. He might be over here, so heads up. Aware of that. He never seems to get me, though, as I'm going out those doors. That was really weird. Oh, are you dead for real now? Okay, he is. Cool. I'll place the fuse in here, and that's going to free up a bunch of room. For us, I think there's some uh, gunpowder that we can. You know, let's head in here first. There's the, uh, this window you can board up, but no zombies break through it, so you don't really have to worry about that. We're gonna be nabbing the valve, and let's get this gunpowder here. Cool. Then there's more gunpowder over here along the side desk. It's regular gunpowder ammo. Since we're about to get the shotgun, I'm just gonna combine it and make three shotgun shells. That sounds good. I still don't have enough like room. Hold on, let me take care of this zombie. Cause that'll get rid of the knife. I'll free up more room in this hallway too. Oh my god! <laughs> I got like caught on that like I don't know like this little like fucking I got caught on that. Oh, jeez. Son of a bitch. Come on. There we go. Fucking A, dude. Oh, let's get rid of, like, all my ammo. But that's fine. I'm going to be using the shotgun here in a minute, so. Shit. All right. Got to make sure he's dead. All right, because we're going to be coming through here a lot. It's a high traffic area later. So want to make sure all these zombies are dead. We get our first grenade. Equip on the inventory screen to use. Guaranteed to daze and stun enemies within its effective radius. So it's left bumper to ready, right trigger to throw. You know, typical grenade shit. Can, can be used to counterattack with the left bumper. So it's also a defensive uh, item when you're caught by an enemy. But its effectiveness is greatly reduced. Yeah, it doesn't really, like, last or, like, explode as high. It just kind of, like, stuns that one enemy, I think. Maybe it does the rest around it, but not very strongly. So, anyways, that clears out that hallway and makes it safe for us to traverse for now, for the most part. That is, uh, let's put this ink ribbon away. 
We're gonna head to the. We're gonna keep these two on us. You can put this jewel away. We're not gonna need that. Um, put Matilda away. All right. So you need these three items right here on us for sure. I'm gonna bring this. I do have shotgun rounds. I have six. Nice. Let's combine these. Anything else I need to bring? Uh, well, I do need to heal. And we'll bring the wooden boards, yeah. So I think, I think that's it. This is uh, everything we're gonna need. Combining items, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I feel like we've been doing that so far the last few episodes, anyway. <sighs> All right. No, we're about to get rid of. Whoa, we're about to get rid of all four of these items, so you don't have to worry about them like taking up all that space in your inventory. You'll be good. Don't worry. You're like, man, my inventory's full. Don't worry about it. Brian's got you. So we're going to head into the west office here. All the way to the back. So we can grab this uh, shotgun ammo. And shotgun as well. It's going to be four rounds, so it'll fill up the shotgun. Which holds four rounds for now. Later on, it'll hold like eight, which is awesome. It's good stuff. Still have these two lockers to revisit, but we need that... We need the number three key. So there's also an item box over here that you can stop off in and put some stuff away if you're feeling crazy about that. I don't know. If you're feeling frisky. Anyways, we're going to enter this. Remember, do not open this locker. A zombie will fall out. I don't remember if it comes to life. We need the combo, which I do know, but I'm not going to use it. Because we haven't discovered it yet, and that would be cheating. make things too easy All right, that zombie body falls but I don't think it ever gets up so don't worry oh I forgot to we're going the wrong way shit I forgot we had to do something else first Woo! what are you doing Brian <laughs> oh I did need to get the shotgun beforehand though we'll go up there later don't worry we'll head back up there my bad Got a little sidetracked. I was just like in the moment. I was like, ooh, I could just shoot on over here. But we got to enter this uh, hallway and get rid of these bolt cutters. Grab a few other goodies that are lying about. And board up some windows. We got a lot to do, actually, in this hallway. Can't do anything about this zombie coming through. Can't board it up in time. So we're just going to wait for him to pop down. And then... Blow his head off. Quickly board this up. And we have one more open window in here. And two... Oh, shit. Oh, he's dead, dead. Okay, cool. And two zombies over here, so... Take care of these guys. There's one. Ooh, that was stupid, Brian. What are you doing? Wait for her to land. Jeez. There we go. God. Waste. Oh, yeah, so we can't board that up yet. We gotta hurry up and get over here and grab these boards that are at the other end of the hallway. Can't believe I just wasted that shot. She was—I I, I don't have shotgun shots to waste like that. That's stupid. But anyway, let's go over here. Snap that chain. We're gonna grab this detonator. Get rid of these bolt cutters now too. There's a green herb up here. Can get another flash grenade. We're going to unlock this door from the side, which leads back to the west office. Grab these boards, and you'll notice there's a heart door here now. Something about these heart doors, only Claire can access them. The key is, the uh, heart key is only in her campaign, which means about, I think, four rooms are going to be blocked off uh, to Leon in this playthrough. So let's go ahead and place this board. And they'll board up all three windows. And now this hallway is clear for now. Later on, another enemy will be in the area, so be aware of that. Now you don't have to crawl over that. You can just woo, and just shoot on over. Okay. You know, I'm just going to roll with what I have on me. I don't even need to stop that item box. So we got rid of all the... Yeah, we got rid of all four of those items I was talking about. Replace them with the detonator. All right, 
Men's restroom, we already did that. That's my bad. It's not worth going and redoing the whole episode over, though. So there's a bunch of shotgun ammo here. There's only, oh, I guess there's only two. Two rounds. Never mind. Oh, jeez. All right, before we take on that liquor, though, we're going to head immediately in here, because fuck that shit. Let's grab this battery, you can combine it with the detonator. Now this thing will be ready to arm. We have ourselves a file. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Official supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe. Move to Star's office, second floor. Oh, from Star's office to West office. The combo is left nine, right 15, left seven. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. Raccoon Police Department. <laughs> Facility Maintenance Depot. I don't like RPD. It needs to be RCPD. I feel like RPD sounds like they're like the raccoon police. They're running around arresting raccoons, you know. Ooh, this will work. I can just combine these. Shit. That works out really well. So here we are in the stars room. This place is pretty cool. I'm trying to access this armory door right now, and it's like, nope. Wah, wah. Failed to authenticate the account. There's a magnum in there. We're going to be getting that later on our... When we come back. When we roll back through the police station. We're going to revisit the police station. There's still a lot we haven't done yet here. We're going to stock up, though. Before we fight this liquor. Three flash grenades. Nine shotgun rounds. Uh, here's a first aid spray. There's high... <laughs> high, uh, high grade gunpowder. Man, we got a lot of a lot of stuff. And there's a Mr. Raccoon over here too. Oh, I'm gonna have to use a shotgun round on it. I don't have my, so I don't have my handgun. That's a bummer. What a waste. Oh, I feel like that's a waste of a shotgun round. It totally is. Anyways, that's our second Mr. Raccoon. Oh boy. All right, liquor time. You can see he's gone around the corner now. Oh, shit. Woo! Hello. Come on, man. Need to reload. Yes! Man, I took him out with a... I think they take like six to seven... shots or something in hardcore mode. Six to eight. Here's the diamond door. We'll be getting the diamond key a lot later. Well, not a lot later. Like, next episode later, but still. And we're here back at the art room. Woo! Or, I mean, the lounge and then the library. Oh, yeah, we need to go upstairs. Now, this next part, there's a liquor in this room that we're going to be at, but uh, we're going to just completely ignore that liquor. Because fuck that, that, that would just be a drain of resources, so. But there are a couple of things you have to do in sequence, I guess. Now, just to avoid having to deal with this zombie later, I'm going to take him out right now. Because he comes to life, like I said. I'll kill him. Go ahead and place this detonator. Get the fuck away from that door. Oh, jeez. See, the, now the explosion wakes up a liquor or alerts you to its presence, and it knocks over this bookshelf, which makes our escape route much more difficult. So, we're gonna uh, do that, and then this guy also comes to life after that explosion. It'll knock him down. So let's head on in here and grab our third and final medallion. Lady Bow Snake. These ones are kind of covered up, but you can basically see. It's not too bad. Lady. That's the bow. That's the bow. Snake. There we go. All right, cool. Nab that third medallion. And then I find it much easier to just run out this way past the liquor because they always swipe and miss. If I go to the right, they always seem to, like, dash and, ca like, catch me. If I, like, take the route to the right that's closer to the door, they'll, like, jump at me and always hit me. But if I just run right past them, they always miss. So, anyways, 
We're going to basically avoid that west storage room for the rest of the game, or as much as possible, at least for the rest of the game. It's just a death trap now. And then we're going to head down here. We're going to open that safe before we place this medallion. Because inside the safe is going to be our first hit pouch on hardcore mode. If you're not on hardcore mode, then it'll be your second hit pouch, I believe. What was it? Nine? Ah, shit. Here, I'll just look at it again. What am I doing? I'm like, this is not the... Here we go. Uh, right... Oh, 9, 15, 7. Okay. So it was 9. why they need this safe for this hip pouch but that's going to give us two extra inventory slots yes beautiful beautiful and it also well I did not clear out the west office what am I missing is there something in here I didn't grab at some point Oh, I didn't open these lock. Oh, this locker. <laughs> With three handgun rounds. All right. Now it's cleared. My bad. Wish I would have done that sooner, like last episode. But that's cool. Now we have three handgun rounds. I guess I was saving those for later, unintentionally. Okay, actually, we don't even need to hit that item box up. Let's just go ahead and place the medallion. Still alive. He's still alive. That's good. It's going to open up this secret passage leading under the police station. Ooh. Let's see what's down here. Find a way out. Let's see this cutscene. So it goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Brana. Marvin. It's time to go. Marvin. We need to get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I... Uh, save yourself. Come on, I've got you. Go! Look, we can still make it out of here together. You just can... It's too late. It's too late for me, Leon. I tried, Leon. He's trying to tell him. Leon's just bullshit. But I could stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Just go. I understand. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll come back for you, Marvin. We'll see you later. Don't worry. Oh yeah, you can't return to the police station. What's you at to you? Heads up. You but there's an item box in here and a typewriter, so don't worry. I wouldn't I wouldn't hoe you out like that, don't worry. Now let's go down here. Grab some more shotgun ammo. Solve the goddess statue puzzle. That's what I did. Okay, we're gonna prepare for next episode. Uh let's bust that out. Hanging ammo. Make any ammo that you can because we're going to start next episode off with a boss fight. And I would also recommend bringing two healing items, two full healing items. I think this is... Man, I'm really low on shit. I do not have a lot of resources right now. Those are going to be used up. Let's see... Ooh, I do not like that setup. I need to shortcut that down here. There we go. Switch those up. So I'm running in there with nine shotgun rounds and seven handgun ammo. But we're going to get a lot more handgun ammo. You're probably going to get like 40 rounds in this next area for your handgun to take on the boss. So anyways, let's save the game and we'll, we'll end the episode here. So I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Actually, you know what? Let's... let's uh. 
yeah, let's look at it this way. So this is what I'm rolling with next episode. I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and to consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. You can also follow me on Twitter. My name is Brian, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.